Now, when you when you when you're making that macro, like say, for example, the roof macro, is that like you have every kind of roofing on that macro one macro? No. Um. So I I have it, it's just right now the one that I have was a just the laminated, just okay. a thirty year laminated. Uh, what is it? Three hundred. Uh, three hundred S. RFG three hundred S or something like that. Or, and that's that's what I use for that one. And then I, if I need to change it, if it's a three tab, which that's I've only ran into one three tab while I've been here. It's mostly been laminated, yeah. so I just kept it that way. But I could see it being helpful to have both on there. That's that's actually a pretty good idea. Yeah. So <laughs> that that's another thing I was. It's a little bit more upfront work, but. And it depends. I mean, if, if you're only seeing like laminate roofing, if that's it, I mean, which th these days it sounds like nobody's really doing three tab anymore, but you might not need to do it. I always had two or three macros for like a laminate shingle. I could have a repair mm -hmm. one and then I have a, you know, a, a right. complete replace and I have a slope, do a slope one. But mm -hmm. then I, and I would duplicate that for, for a three tab, um, for, and then I would do like wood shake and wood shingle, which are different, right, and metal. So I have a, a whole bunch of macros for those, and each one would have like a repair and like a slope and a total replace. Because and the, th yeah. the thing may, might change between like the total replace and the slope might just be the F9 note, like just saying, you know, the following line items are to replace the left slope on the detached shot. Yeah, shuffle. yeah, that's, that, that's, I mean, that sounds, that would be super helpful actually to have a macro. Now, when you were, when you were, did I know, I don't know if it was the same way. I'm sure, sure it is, but like, it seems like every carrier has just a little bit different guidelines now. Oh yeah. I mean, doesn't you know? You you, you look at all the different carriers out there, and I mean, an Allstate claim isn't going to be the same as a Horace Mann claim or a Liberty Mutual. They they want them just a little bit different. Yeah. Do you did you ever tailor as you were deployed? Did you ever tailor those macros? to the carrier oh absolutely and their requirements yeah and I, like, like yeah. what you said i did exactly the same thing where you get deployed and we'll just say to denver and you every little roof that you look at is all wood shake right but they all have uh turbine vents right and then you go into another neighborhood and it's all still wood shake but it's all turtle vents right or, or right. everybody's got a power vent or whatever so then I'll even tweak at that level instead of deleting it like every single time I got, you know, deleting or whatever I don't want to use because it just changed a little bit. I'll just fix my macro. So I'll, I'll kind of adjust yeah. my macro as I go. And if I find I'm going bouncing back and forth between two neighborhoods and the, you know, it's, they're similar, but kind of different than I'll have a macro for that neighborhood and then one for this neighborhood. Yeah. I, I ran into, I ran into the, the mistake of not deleting something that's not supposed to be on that, on that roof. Like a power yeah. attic vent. Like not everybody had power attic vent, but I just kept sending these claims through. Power attic vent. There you go. <laughs> you get one. And then kept getting revisions like, hey, um, do you have a photo of that power attic vent? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me fix that really quick. Delete. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> it, it wasn't supposed to be there. But yeah. And like we see a bunch of turtle box vents, but we don't see a power attic vent. Yeah. Yeah. And that's exactly it. I mean, the macro is there to help you be more efficient. And if you have like a gigantic macro that's got every possible thing that you could ever have, on a you know an architectural shingle roof then you spend a lot of time you know shift select control selecting things to delete out of it when right the macro is kind of a living breathing thing that should it's there to help you be just be faster sure you know, sure pure and simple and, that, and, and that's what that's what i'm finding has been help again each it seems like each deployment i think this is for anybody who's who's wanting to get started is it's like your first deployment is going to be tough and, yeah. and that's okay. Just just kind of accept that fact that, hey, this is going to be tough. This is going to be different. And then each one gets just a little bit easier yep. every time you go. Yep. And then, you know, then you get to a point where it's like, you, you know, you kind of got a grasp of core logic. Then you got a grasp of, of exactment. And then you can do both those claims. You can do both of those types of claims on the same deployment. It doesn't matter if you're doing core logic or if you're doing exact. I mean, you can you could do both of them. It only takes that. You can only do that. I found by just doing something that's hard. Yes, you can go get go get your training, get the training that you need to know these things better than just winging it like I did, because it's not the best way to do it by any stretch of the imagination. No. But being able to, you know, have you know, learn once you've learned that, and then applying it, and then using that as confidence, and then just you know, it doesn't matter. You can get all the training in the world, but you still got to jump. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house? On video, what about how to actually do a claim 
in Xactimate? What is Symbility and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claim suggesting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride along. Speaking of ride alongs, click here to get right along to the next video. Because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along, get it right. Just move right along versus ride along. It's right along, get right along to it. Thank you.